Yo guys, what is up? This is Danny Ryan 18 here bring you guys some Watch Dogs 2 gameplay. That is right. The game has finally arrived and I'm finally got my hands on this game. So today I'm gonna bring you guys another watch uh, let's play walkthrough series. I'm gonna bring you guys along for the ride. I have played a bit of this game already, you know, to get the feel of the game and stuff, but I'm gonna start a brand new game just for you guys, and we're gonna I'm gonna bring you guys along for the ride. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you guys enjoyed it, please remember to smack that like button, subscribe, leave a comment down below what you guys think about the video. If we get more likes on this video, and I'll post up some more um, of this uh, series um, or the videos uh, of this game. So please smack that like button, and uh, as well as I won't be uh, finishing off. I mean I won't be. Um, I will be finishing off um, my uh, my Battlefield 1 experience as well, so please stay tuned for those videos coming out today or probably tomorrow, whenever you guys are checking out the videos. Anyways, you guys, let's, this is Dare 19. Let's go in straight into the new game. Let's go. So, uh, I heard this is taking place in San Francisco, California. Oh my goodness, I saw some bit of gameplay from uh, my favorite YouTuber, Vixar123, and all these other YouTubers and that, li that likes to play the game. Ooh, I'm just really excited to bring you guys this game. It's a lot, hopefully it's a lot of fun. Hopefully the storyline's really good. And let's see what this game has to offer. Any time loading screen. Ooh, the Bloom CTOS server farm San Francisco. Consider this your 10 second initiation retro. Your mission, should you choose to accept it is to bypass Bloom security doors and get inside. Then find and erase your personal CTOS profile. Whatever they have on me, it's all bullshit. And I'm sick of getting harassed for it. All the more reason for a purge. We'll be watching. Try to keep up. By the way, we put this playlist together to set the mood. I hope you like it. So it looks like we're just going into a, tu a tutorial. Ooh, I like that. Hmm. Oh, this is a stun weapon. Don't. I don't think you saw me. That's fine. Alright, time for some hacking. Alright, so we're in. You're wasting your time. He's not in. 
Gotcha. So that's him. He's got a gun. Is that a problem? Well, problems are why you keep me around, right? Time him. I'm curious. Too late. He's in. Already? Don't play out on us. I have no idea. Nuh uh. No synonyms either. Give me a real answer. I'm just not that into aliens or video games. It's not just any alien. It's. Oh, come on. Anyone else having a problem with their phone? Ooh, what? Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah! Ooh. Ooh. Check it out, it's thermal vision. Ooh, here we go, hack. There we go. Let's go back. And how do I get out of this screen? Oh, there you go. So what's his deal? He was raised in Oakland, but was born in... <laughs> his deal is, he's been hanging around the DedSec IRC, and he's got cred. Figured we'd give him a test drive. On the hardest difficulty, nobody's been able to delete their CTOS profile before. I'm oh, no. He's smart, stubborn, or both. He went to sleep too. Oh no. Yeah, you know what, you guys? <laughs> I feel like I should just die and just restart. This is not. This is not a good one. I thought I might bring this gameplay for you guys. It might be stealthy and healthy. Oh man. I wasted that one. No hiding. Come here. I thought this game might be a nice stealthy mission, but it really wasn't. I messed it up for you guys. Ay -ay -ay -ay. Oh, there we go. It's one right here. suspect in a high-tech burglary so he's done time community service not enough evidence just the word of CTOS's predictive algorithms but once in the system always in the system holy shit <laughs> he went for it you won't have much time before the backups kick in
Interesting. He's hacking in that type of heat. Dang. That is crazy. He's in the system. Nobody's gotten that far. This is like the secret cow level. If I can just jump down there, that'd be perfect. Okay, here we go. I'll take cover first, it's most important. Um. Turn it around that way. That one's perfect, there we go. Hit triangle, and we're good. So oh, we're actually doing this, okay. This is bullshit. Wow, so many things he's done. Drop a little back door into the system so I can get back inside later. Sorry, Bloom. We've got unfinished business. He's heading out. Bag him. Yeah. There has to be cameras around here somewhere. I'm just gonna try to get out of this mission as quickly as possible. That's the goal. Run! Shoot, can't run. There we go. Let's go. And we're out of here. See you later. Hold it right there. Help him. 
Where the fuck am I gonna go? Josh! Okay, okay. Fuck you, Bloom! Uh-oh. In 2013, Chicago realized the promise of smart cities with CTOS, a citywide operating system merging big data with surveillance, security, and transit programs. With a few hundred lines of code, hackers were able to hijack its central servers and cripple the entire grid. Many believed the attack would be a killing blow for smart city development. They were wrong. Coordinated from the heart of Silicon Valley, CTOS 2.0 has been implemented across the United States, ushering in the Internet of Things. 6.4 billion connected devices now serve as collection points, mapping and recording our daily routines, making a more secure and more invasive system. But who else is listening? Big Brother no longer works alone. Thousands of little brothers monitor and aggregate your every move building a complete digital profile of you to be bought, sold, or stolen in an instant. Toys study your children, reporting their play habits back to marketers. Appliances, consoles, and home security systems give corporations a window into your private life. Control of your vehicle and mobile device can now be breached remotely by anyone at any time. You may think that you are immune or underestimate the risk, but your digital shadow is already compromised. Insurance companies use algorithms to monitor your life habits and limit or deny coverage. Health providers determine if your cancer is worth treating. Search results and news feeds are skewed to bias mood and influence your vote, engineering social uprisings on a massive scale. You are now less valuable than the data you produce. Data you produce. This is the new reality. Going dark is no longer an option. With threats to personal freedom rising, many are stepping forward. Whistleblowers, activists, and hackers have drawn their battle lines, putting the establishment on watch. But are they threats themselves, or have they become freedom's last line of defense? Freedom's last line of defense. So, am I in? Welcome to Dead Sec. <sighs> I'm Satara. This sweetheart is Josh, AKA Hot Sauce. Yo, you're Hot Sauce? Yo, man, I loved your frat house hat. Real talk. Thanks. This weirdo's wrench. The needs of the many. And this Casanova is Horatio. What's up, brother? Mm -hmm. It's the crew, huh? Took y'all long enough to come get me. Shit. You saw Bloom's bullshit. CTOS isn't just regulating infrastructure. The amount of personal data that thing is collecting is fucking mind blowing. Yeah. It's Big Brother and Little Brother all rolled up into one. Huh? Sees everything you do and tells on you. Thank you, Josh. So what's the fix? Sledgehammers and fire. No! Sledgehammers on fire. <laughs> All of that data in one place means they can reject your fucking application before you click on it. Congratulations, you have been free rejected for our credit card. Or your house or your insurance. That's not even the worst case scenario. All that data in the hands of the government? They'll arrest you for shit before you even do it. Yeah, I've been there. I don't fucking know why. Man, f fuck it! Fuck it, man. We're hackers. We, we out think, we out dare. I, I say we tear down the fucking wall. Hey, show everyone what, what Bloom's up to, man. Show, show the world that their personal data is being used to rob them of their fucking freedoms. Fuck. I installed a back door, so all we gotta do is walk right through. Uh, hold on. You what? He installed a back door, so all we have to do is walk through. Bingo.
Hey, man. Do you have the time? Oh, yeah, man. I, I got it. I got it. Oh, late for a night run, isn't it? Hey, what, are you, what are you running from the cops? <laughs> Maybe I am one. Hey, hey you, you look familiar. Good party. Uh oh. Fucking this Fuck you, Bloom. I'm gonna go have a goddamn good time. Wow, what a great start. So we hacked Bloom, then the CTOS place, and then we met up with the with the crew, like straight off the bat, and they just wanted to take down Bloom itself again. That's crazy. Hello, whose phone is this? It's your new phone. Where's my phone? In the ocean, where you threw it, I think. I don't remember, I was pretty smashed. Look, meet us at the hacker space. Where? Check your pics and figure it out. view that is absolutely incredible of San Francisco California correct me if I'm wrong but for those people who live in San Francisco has, has the first bit of this area is this like part of the Pierre or is it like I guess I was like, is that is that part on the other side of the <laughs> like city? Mardi Gras. Go get yourself something to wear, and I'll tell you where to go next. Oh, and you'll need your phone ready for operations. So hit the store and download your apps before you get here. Damn, walk of shame on my first day. Okay, so I gotta open up my phone, go to the app store, and get this app. Oh, hold it. And I gotta go here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Yep. So. Um. What's this? They can fast travel here too. Awesome. Ooh, some driving time. I like. Wow. The driving feels a lot better than the first one, that's for sure. It definitely... Was that a Porsche? Is that a Porsche? That looks like a Porsche, like, 911 back in, back in the 1900s or something like that. Oh, man. I'm gonna have fun playing this game. I'm gonna take a little shortcut, if y'all don't mind. through a bush. Oh, I crushed the bush. Never mind.
I have to unlock all this stuff. Interesting. That's chill. <laughs> so let's shop. Uh, I like this. Um, that looks nice to wear. Uh, bottoms. Yeah, maybe some casual jeans would be nice. Uh, tops, I still gotta purchase this. Glasses, the only pair I have is that. I don't know why I like this hat. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, excuse me, sir. All right, Sitar, so where you at? Sending you the location. And the passcode for the door. Let's go get a bike. I had a saw a bike here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, so that's all you can shoot now. Okay, that's pretty cool. You hang around? Oh, um, hang around. Wow. That's good. You're making the right choice. I'm not planning to start anything, dude. So don't make me. Anyways, um so what was I doing? Okay, I'm gonna go on my phone. Go to Noodle Apps. I have to be over here somewhere. All right, let's do it. Wow, the, the driving definitely feels a lot different than the first Watch Dogs, for sure. That's 100% for sure. Wheelie all day! No, I can't do a wheelie, can I? Oh, I can. Oh, yeah. How are these guys driving faster than me? Hey, look at some lane splitting. <laughs> Dang, this this looks beautiful. Look at this view. It's absolutely incredible. Of the city of San Francisco. This is really nice. This looks really nice. So out of all destinations, I have to put a place where it's like 2,000 miles away, f away from this place. Wow. Whoa. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Oh, 
that is cool. I don't know what I did, but that was really cool. That is really, really cool. Oh, it's over here. Okay. This is a lot different than I expected. Interesting. What were you going? Get back on the damn road! This is a road. What are you talking about? This is a back alley road. Hey, learn to drive! Road over there, dumbass! <laughs> I swear people do not know. Ooh. Sorna. Sorry. Yo, you interested in taking a turn? We need one more person to play. It's one of those new German games. Yeah? Shit, that's free road. It won a golden ace. I'd love to, but I'm kind of running late. Eh, fair enough. Oh, hey. Quite interesting, really. I can't believe my hand slipped. It must have been an earthquake. Someone just die? No other way I'd have <laughs> I didn't even do like anything. I had to completely strip the paint off and then start from scratch. Ah, uh, sucked. But I gotta say, my miniature army is going to look amazing. Whoa! Check out all these. Not uh, check out all these. Um, what do you call it? Gra graffiti's and all that stuff. Wow. Yo. Finally. So Josh and I spoke, and fucking over Bloom has been a long-standing project. All right. You need two things to take down Bloom. You need to get people to rally behind your cause and separate you from the trolls. And we need bots, and a lot of them to handle the data CTOS is processing. Thank you, Josh. We spent all night modifying our app so you can get followers to download the app, and we can use their processing power for the cause. This is happening? It's really happening? Mm -hmm. Man, this is happening. You better get to it. Hell yeah, man! Barbarians are at the gate and ready to bust some Roman heads. Yeah, we're gonna focus on some high-profile ops, playing for exposure and laughs to get people to download our app. Mm -hmm. all right. Don't worry, so that wasn't my phone. <laughs> this guy, this Marcus. guy. <laughs> Check you out. Alive and dry. I wasn't sure after your moonlight swim. Come here. You've got to check this out. The guy with the mask, though, he really reminds me of a guy, um, actually a robot from the uh, web show called uh, Video Game High School. He really reminds me of the fact, like, how this guy shot this guy named shotbot how he's how he's how he how he used to talk quite interesting how they did that behold our very own open source research app so like all of us here pool vulnerabilities that we find and we encourage everyone to share their work their research etc okay so what's the research app do widen our skill set make us irresistible to the gender of our choice what, so it's like a I know kung fu kind of deal? If kung fu was a gender and not so 1999, absolutely. Research app. Oh. So these are all your upgrades.
interesting. Marksmanship. What do they have for marksmanship? Bayonets. What is that? I'm trying to figure out what it is. Tinkering. Hmm. City disruption. Uh, ooh. You know what? I'm going to leave this up to you guys. I'm literally going to leave this in your hands and actually figure out which upgrade I should go with first. Let me know in the comment section down below. Um, these are all all of the um, the skill sets of what I should unlock to upkeep on upgrading my stuff as a character, as, a, as I go through the story. Um, this ought to be a lot of fun. Alright, so let me know in the comment section down below. But otherwise, actually, no, I have to pick one right now, so I have no choice. Um, social engineering. Hmm. This this how this one ought to be useful. Um. But the driving part, I don't really think that's really important. So we're gonna, what we're going to do is do a create a distraction. All right. So we're going to start with social engineering and work our way up. All right. of technology a 3d printer this is the army of printers it is capable of pumping out an arsenal of lethal weapons down seriously yep once you master it voila hipster merchant of death all good except i'm no hipster <laughs> you keep telling yourself that now try to make something but don't blow us up Where is a 3D printer? Oh, it's over here. Hmm. Oh my. All these cool weapons. You need a lot of money to get these type of weapons. Paint jobs. Look at this. First of all, I'd rather get a suppressed weapon first. Suppressed weapons are my goatee. Especially when it comes to sniping, all that great stuff. So I need to save a whole lot of money, start hacking. Um... I don't know, blue? No, they're all the same. Okay. Oh, we also got a drone. Oh my, that looks so cool.
That is absolutely incredible. So just off the bat, we have a a jumper drone. And then maybe later once I start hacking all this great stuff, you can actually get the drone. Uh the sorry, yeah, the drone that actually goes up in the air. This is awesome. Um print any weapon. I don't have enough cash to pull off a new weapon. Um sorry, just give me one sec here. Um That is nice. Also has all the weapon. Oh, okay. Interesting. So let's try this out. Oh, this this reminds me of. Rainbow Six Siege. Oh my, this is awesome. This is awesome. What, but why does it go in one direction though, like that? Chicago DedSec has coordinated operations, everybody mostly working towards the same goal. Rumors say that the leaderless group actually has somebody upstairs calling the shots. The Council of Daves. I can't say if it's true or not, but somebody's focusing their efforts. I know because I studied everything about them, even ran a few of their ops. I wanted to emulate them, try to figure out what worked for them and apply it to us. But the members of our Bay Area DedSec couldn't be more different from each other. Now, if there was a spectrum spanning anarchists to activists, we'd probably fill the whole damn thing. But there's one thing that unites the key crew. Each one of us has reason to hate big data, or more specifically, Bloom and its CTOS. I've been overseeing operations, making sure people get to where they need to be with the tools they require. I've got eyes on the big picture. The way I see it, I've lit the fuse. It's only a matter of time before Bloom feels the dead sec explosion. So wow. This, this game's all about introduction, I like. Good to have another brother here. Hey, good to be here, man. Are you all hackers? Yeah, kind of a basic requirement to get invited into the hacker space. But we all have our specialties, like Josh over there. Always building shit that shouldn't work. Now he's trying to build this big ass drone. And wrench? Good engineer too. But better at breaking shit apart. And yo, Satara? <laughs> Sis got skills as an artist and a graphic designer. Without her, dead sex walking around without a face or voice. What about you? What's your superpower? Tactical coordinator or cat herder. Take your pick. I make dead sex go where it has the most impact. You heard of Prime 8? Those are some real dirty hacking motherfuckers. Yeah, I brushed up against them before. It wasn't pleasant. All right, that's what I like to hear. Link up with me when you're ready to do this, and I'll fill you in. There's always someone running ops against Prime 8. Bet they'd love your help. Hmm. Oh, see, these are the online stuff you can actually do in the city. Awesome. It's something, right? This whole place is something. We used to keep track of news feeds on here. But now, it's our follower wall. So it knows if we're trending? No, no, no. It's based on hard values. How many people downloaded our app, how much processing power we have access to. You know. <laughs> nice. And, speaking of which, we're downloading the DeadSec app into your phone as we speak. When it's ready, open it up, click the suggested op, and hit the park outside so we can test it. Sounds good. One more thing. I put a reminder on your phone so you remember what we're gunning for. Get enough processing power to take down blue. Hmm. The dead sec app.
No, that's all I have. I forgot. <laughs> Anyways, how do I get out of here? Coming up after the break, we'll be sitting down with a former street artist. Sweet T, as he's known in the community, is here to promote a new book of his art. Hmm. And a brand new fashion line, including t-shirts, caps, and bling. Very exciting stuff. I was just here in the park. The app's downloaded and I'm in the park. What am I testing? Start profiling things around you. People, devices. See what you can pull from them. That's what helps us figure out our next ops. And running ops that are important to people is how we get them interested in DeadSec. The more followers download our app, the more intel we get. It's the circle of life. And see if you can find some components to help us with our research. The app is your data mining tool. Okay, okay, I got this. So what now? Up to you, man. You're free to do whatever catches your eye. We post ops to the DeadSec app, and doing them helps us get followers. And followers are our Skrilla. Followers mean computers, which boosts our processing power, which lets us do bigger and better ops. Hey. So what's this about Bobo Day? You know Bobo's working on a new album, right? Yeah, I heard. Well, you won't get to hear it? Motherfucker Gene Carcaney just put millions on the table to keep it all to himself. What does a big pharma CEO want with a rap album? Dude has a huge Bobo collection. And he probably wants to hang that shit on his wall like a damn trophy. He's just rubbing his money in our faces, bruh. Do you know if Bobo took the deal? He hasn't announced anything yet, but he will. It's a lot of cash. Maybe there's still time for an intervention. Time for what? Hmm. I assume. Oh, now I can actually access the map. This is okay. This is a lot better. You guys have heard of Gene Carcani? He's the shit sack who's on TV laughing about how he's raising the price of leukemia medicine. Yeah, the most hated man in America. Yeah, what do you ask? Guys, a huge Bobo Dakes fan. Must have read Bobo's in town recording new tracks because he's offering millions to keep the album to himself. So stupid. Bobo will never go for it. The real one won't. So we're gonna do it for him. I'm gonna visit Bobo and see if I can borrow some of his new tracks as proof that we're legit. How do we contact Karkani? I need you guys to run through interviews, podcasts, whatever. Find me some usable lines. We're gonna make a soundboard. Dang, she loves it. Ooh, I already got crashed. Anyways, what's this place? Drone races. Interesting, so let's view the map here. So we got a whole bunch of different stuff here in the city of San Francisco. So this is pretty cool. In Calif in around somewhere in California, this is really nice. Hmm. Well, anyways, you guys, I think I'm gonna wrap it up right here, right now. Let me know in the comment section down below of what what do you guys think about this video and all that other great stuff. So otherwise, you guys, this is Guaranteed checking out you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I will be uploading some more Watch Dogs 2. Just uh, smack that like button. The more likes you can get on this video, the more that I can upload. Um, stay tuned for some Battlefield 1 content later today. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video.